Hey guys, we are back here for another video. So we did a video yesterday with regards to Shawnee O'Neal, Shawnee Henderson, the Wicked Lady of the West, whatever she calls herself, First Lady, Second Lady. This woman is wicked. We gonna call her Wickedy Witch. That's what we're gonna call her. But listen, we did a video yesterday and the issue was solely um, regarding Shani's husband, Keon Henderson. And he was being dragged on social media because people stated that he disrespected his member of his church by telling her to hush while they were live streaming um, service. Well, he, you know, took to an interview and he actually spoke on that. But hey, that is not why we're doing this video. We're doing this video because now Shani, Miss Kindred Spirit, because her and her husband are the same nasty. She has some very nasty things to say about Shaq. And that is why I'm doing this video. So let's let our intro play and let's come back and talk about it. I don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. Now, before we get into this video, I do need to make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and also make sure you enable your bell notification. Therefore, you will be notified when a new video is uploaded. Also, you'll be notified whenever I go live. So before I jump into the statements that Shawnee O'Neal made, I need to take you guys back because I want to make sure I'm telling this whole story in full because I know you guys do not watch every video. Now, there was something that came out yesterday all over social media and people were dragging Pastor Keon because of the way that he responded to a church member. Now, let's get into what he had to say yesterday and then we're going to get into what Shawnee O'Neal had to say today. Well, I'm not going to say what she had to say today, what she said in her book that just came out today. Okay, so let's get into what Shani's husband had to say about his own congregation member. So tell me what happened there. Well, you know, social media is in to cut in our context. Yeah. Uh, and every suggestion that I got from every naysayer, I've already done. This is a four-year battle, right? Oh, this is ongoing. This is ongoing. So I've already yeah. talked to her personally. I'd already had ushers go up to her. I've already had prayer warriors. I've had everything. So she did it publicly after being asked not to. What is she? Is she cry? Is an emotional? Well, break? you know, as a pastor, I know the difference between disturbance and worship. And what people have to understand, what people have to understand is that every time you hear a noise in church, it isn't worship. And uh, so there has to be order. For instance, it's okay to applaud in this room right now. But if somebody got up and just started clapping right now, I'm sure somebody would bring order to the room. Yeah. And so what I did is I brought order to the room so people could hear God and not hurt. And I'd do it again if I needed to. So in that interview that you guys just saw, that brief snippet, Shani O'Neill's husband was telling Tamron Hall that the issue that he was having with his congregation member was something that has been going on for, I believe he said about four years, maybe even more. But anywho, that is the backstory to that. Now, for some of you who may have missed exactly what happened and where this backlash originated from, let's get into the video clip where he basically told this woman to shut up. Let's get into that clip, guys. I lift my hand Hey. Stop her. Hush, hush. Silence in the name of Jesus. I lift my hands 
The only voice I want heard is his. Oh, praise. I live. Okay, guys. So the video snippet that you saw was obviously the Sunday worship service. And as you can see, he was like, hush, be quiet. Um, and the backstory was, as you guys saw and heard that video snippet from the Tamron Hall show, he said it was an ongoing thing. And when I first saw him on Tamron Hall show, and when he described the sounds, he basically called his own, y'all hear me, his own congregation member who appears to be someone singing in the choir, a demon. And I thought those were some very strong words because Think about it. This man is a pastor. People look up to him. You have to be careful with the words that you use. Now, I understand what he's saying is, you know, she has been told various times. Well, I mean, take her out of the choir. I don't know. But to embarrass somebody like that, I just don't agree with it. But then I start thinking these two, Shani and um, Keon, they seem to be very much alike because Shani... I've always thought she was a cold-hearted snake, but just when I would start to think, okay, well, maybe I was wrong about Shani. She does this. So Shani O'Neill released it, some book, Undefeated, which I would never read. <laughs> but in the book, she says that she doesn't know if she ever loved Shaq. She said she was in love with the idea of building a life together. What? Like this lady is so reckless and evil. I'm just like, why would she say that she didn't love a man she was married to and that she had baby after baby after baby? Unless, unless you just got with him, honey, because he had that money. You know that money was long because I don't understand how she would say she wasn't in love with him. So it was it all for the money? I'm just I'm 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 clueless. I mean, I've heard people say they fell out of love, but to have all of these children and to be married to somebody and you definitely financially benefited because of this relationship. But now to get to where you are and feel like obviously you don't need them no more, you've got so many child support checks and you were able to stack so much money, and this is the reason why you are in the position that you're in. But now to just be like, I never loved him. I'm like her and that peanut head, Keon, they are one in the same. Well, Shaq responds. And from my take on it, he's probably feeling like a complete idiot because he says, I understand I wouldn't have been in love with me either. Wishing you all the best. All love, Shaq. I'm just like, why does she have to throw him under the bus? Girl, sell your books. Do what it is you're doing. But to resurrect a marriage from decades ago, and say, I never loved him. I wasn't in love with him. This broad is evil. This girl is just evil. Guys, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And if you are not, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And also enable your bell notification so you are always notified when new videos are uploaded or whenever I go live.